Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for clicking. If that means a lot to you guys, keep looking. If you guys keep looking, I'll keep making. Happy Thanksgiving. And in this episode, we're re recapping Survivor 43 episode 10, an episode for me that was so confusing. I was absolutely reeling after the, this episode was over, just trying to figure out. I mean, you can check out my live show that really took place a minute after the, the, the episode ended where I was just sitting there like trying to make it all make sense in my head. I was utterly confused. An all-time low for s Survivor editors uh, and a really, really big disappointment of an episode. Let's get into it. If you haven't already, like, share, subscribe, do all that good stuff because it's free, it's easy, and it really helps the channel out. Okay, so we actually start out the episode with both groups coming back and learning who went home carla's reaction here is that she felt kind of left out of the past vote where her ally and james was blindsided of course she knew and voted you know accordingly and correctly but that was only because sammy told her about 10 minutes before tribal so she felt like it really wasn't a vote that she was in the the no for but Going forward, she sees Sammy as shady because Sammy kind of told her last minute uh, and she doesn't really trust Sammy, which is kind of the opposite of what Sammy wanted to do by telling her. So it kind of blew up in Sammy's face. Sammy's like stock is really, really lowering as this post-merge con con continues on. At, at least for me, I feel like Sammy started out so good c coming in, especially after that first round and has really just dropped since then. On top of that, uh, we also see uh, Ryan go home, and this to me was very, very good for Jesse. Jesse also agrees with that because Jesse says, I feel like I'm in a great spot, that he's positioned to flip back and forth. He has great relationships, and so he's very, very confident going into this episode. So at the reward challenge, we see uh, basically a challenge that has two parts. The first part is getting over a ba balance beam after being dizzy, and the second part is to uh, land a kind of ball that's wrapped in cloth on top of a platform and everyone gets across the first part pretty easily except for noelle it takes her a long long time but eventually she does gets to the last part of the challenge and wins the challenge she comes back it's a very emotional moment which actually worked out in the editor's favor i think for once the um, emotional moment was deserved her arc had been kind of fulfilled and it made sense why she was crying you know she had just won it it, it was a powerful moment that actually was deserved because usually the crying scenes end up being kind of cringy, at least for me. So I was kind of proud of the uh, show for making this not as cringy as the other emotional moments from this season. She uh, picks three people to go with her uh, to the sanctuary where they get to re read letters and eat food and get pillows and blankets. Uh, she picks uh, basically a lot of her allies in the game. She picks Jesse. Uh, she also picks Sammy and Owen to go with her at the sanctuary. They talk about uh, getting out Carla and Cassidy and splitting the, the, the votes on them 3-3. Three, three. And then back at camp, uh, Carla and Cassidy kind of plan up a Noel blindside. They try to get the other people on their side and the other people being Cody and Gabler. And it seems like Cody and Gabler are also on a board to do this. They would like to go after Noel, and they don't really need a lot of people, but they're considering splitting votes. So it's definitely confusing already, but this isn't really the uh, overly confusing part of the episode. That's for later. At the immunity challenge, we see Cassidy win, which puts a hiccup in Noel's plan to split votes between Cassidy and Carla in a similar move to like Shan's blind side from 41, where they split three on Shan, three on Liana, and then their two votes won't matter. Uh, it's a perfect plan if it works, um, but now they can't because Cassidy has immunity, and they're very, very scared that Carla has an idol, of which she actually does. Uh, Gabler tells Noelle that Cassidy and Carla were trying to go after her this week and assures her that Cody and Jesse and him would be voting with her. So she thinks that it's her Cody, Jesse, and Gabler at the very least. Uh, on top of that, Jesse went to Cody w with the plan that he heard at the re reward, uh, and they debated which side of the fence to fall on this week. Jesse pointed out that every time they've taken out one, one of Noelle's allies, she's come back the next week with a new number one ally. They ultimately decided to blindside Noelle but with a plan. And this plan was very, very cheesy. They like edited it in like a Mission Impossible, like James Bond style uh, edit. Very, very cringy here. Um, but basically it was three parts. And each time that um, Jesse set a part, they like freeze the screen and said like, then it's part two. So 
part one was to have a cover story. And then they like showed him talking to people and getting his cover story, which was to split the votes between Carla and Sammy. So that is the, uh, the, the cover plan that he's going to tell the people who he doesn't want to know about it. Uh, step two, to throw the fall guy under the bus by telling no Noel of Sammy's plan to take a shot at her, uh, kind of putting the target on Sammy's back and uh, making Noel kind of not like Sammy and keep her eyes on Sammy. And three is to have a backup plan by using Gabler as another extra vote on Noel just in case uh, there's some sort of shenanigans with advantages. Uh, and so now there's a lot of votes going on at Noel. After you know his conversation with Jesse, Gabler goes to Carla to say that Jesse and Cody are quote running the show and that they, they need to put a stop to that. It's very confusing because this whole episode we've been shown like Noelle's like arc of she's almost getting blindsided but then, then she's not. So to see this was very very confusing because it kind of hinted that one of Jesse or Cody is going to get blindsided. Again very very confusing. We also like heard some split vote plans with Carla trying to split votes like 4-4 four, four on Cassidy and I think Sammy but then they try to get one extra so it's actually 5-3 it was so confusing and again this is my an analysis after going back and re-watching the whole episode reading up on recaps that have full paragraphs of uh, uh, analysis so imagine me during the episode when i say i was so confused coming out i was so confused and even though i get it now maybe a bit more the fact that it takes me a full day to understand 20 minutes of a survivor episode to me is a big big problem and i think it should be a problem for just about anybody who likes the show uh, again, it, it tries to hint at this possible Jesse and Cody blindside, but then it didn't happen because at Tribal, uh, we actually see Noel get blindsided here. I believe it, it, it was a five to two to one vote where Noel votes for, I think, what, like Sammy, right? And then we see Owen and Sammy vote for Carla. Uh, because they obviously think that they're doing a vote split on Carla and Sammy. And then everybody else votes for Noel. So it's very, very confusing. Noel takes it like a champ. Uh, and that's how the episode comes to a, a finish. And I gotta say, for an episode that could have been really good, not only with its potential, but what the boot actually was. Like, I, I expected a big blindside here after a few, or not really a few, but a good string of very, very boring uh, vote outs, very basic and predictable vote outs. We got it. And then it's still just like mid. It's still just like the editing made it so weird and anticlimactic and just it, it didn't feel like an epic episode and i feel like it was mostly because of the editors but let me know down below in the comments what do you think uh, happened in this episode was it good or was it bad and if if it was bad then why uh again none of this happens without you guys without you guys i'm sure we're guys speaking in a weird microphone and that's what i'll talk to you guys in the next one peace